sweet friends, welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and today is my first day of school. So how my school year works is at the beginning of the school year, the first two days of the week, Monday and Tuesday, we have professional development and then Monday night we have our open house. And then the kids' first day of school is Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. We only have school Wednesday and then tomorrow, Thursday this week. And then we have Friday and Monday off for Labor Day and then we have a four day week next week and then a five day week. So it goes from two to four to five which I honestly kind of like because it lets the kids just ease into it and there's not as much pressure for like teaching the kids every single thing they need to know in the first two days they can kind of more slowly learn it as we go and the first two days are some learning and doing but a lot of just community building stuff as well so I have some pumpkin spice cold brews here this morning that I'm really excited about I got one for myself and then I got two other ones one for my teacher bestie next door and then she has a student teacher as well so I wanted to get her one so yes I have those ready to go and then also I grabbed a little sandwich from Starbucks this morning that I am just about to eat and I'm excited about that. I need to log into my computer a moment so I'm going to do that before I forget so it can start loading. I do have some things to print this morning. I actually made a little list on my phone. I'll pop it up right here of all the things I need to do before the kids come and there are quite a few. So it's right around 7 a.m. right now. I got here just a little bit before 7 because I wanted to be here a little extra early. Kids don't get here until 8.30. So I have enough time to print what I need to print and do a little bit of running around this morning. I'm really, really excited to meet my kids. Also, I just realized my back door is open. Um, but yes, I'm really excited to meet my kids and just get to know them. I met them like briefly during open house, but yes, excited to have the first day of school. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and print this stuff and then I will chat with you again at some point. Actually, I want to show you my outfit too. So let's go see that. Okay. So this is the outfit for today. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's like a bright orangey color. And this dress is from Kohl's actually. I found it on clearance and thought it was really cute. So I have that. And then of course I have some little bike shorts on underneath it so I can sit crisscross applesauce with the kids. And then this next necklace is from I think it's Ana Luisa or Anna Luisa I'm not sure how to say it but it's so stinking cute and this was gifted to me just as like a heads up just for fair warning but I do really like it and then these shoes that I'm wearing are from Amazon they're just like little heels I tried wearing big heels last year on my first day of second grade and regretted it because there's a lot of running around in second grade so yes I think these are cute so that is the outfit for today and then I'll show you what I have on students desks okay so this is a student's name tag but I just turned it upside down so we wouldn't see it I have the this little name tag that kids are going to make just like for the day they're going to use this for an activity we're going to do on the carpet and then they can keep it after tomorrow so they have a little note from me and this is a freebie on teachers pay teachers from teach me mrs z on instagram i can't remember what her store name is on tpt but i will have these linked below if i forget then remind me and then i have just a little crayon box for them in case they did not bring crayons today then everybody has crayons just in case so this is what they will start with and then we have breakfast in the classroom every day so we'll have breakfast together as well. Okay, so I do use slides to teach throughout the day, and I actually designed a new slideshow. This is available on my Teachers Pay Teachers, and it has like a ton of different options of different like backgrounds and layouts and all that fun stuff. So I have my plans just like on there, <laughs> but I'll go through this with the kids throughout the day, and I don't think I have student names on anything. So I think I can show you almost everything. I do have student names on my bus pickup, so I will not show you that. But here is just like a quick go through of some of the things that we are doing today. So we're gonna go through and learn names. I love, love, love this book. It's called Teach Us Your Name. So I bought that one this summer and I'm really excited to use it with my students. Some Go Noodles. That's our classroom library. And then it goes to the second day. So yes, I don't have every single thing in here for the whole day, but I have like the majority of things. Lots of running around to do this morning. So I'm gonna let you go and then I will check in at some point. <laughs> Okay, so now it is Thursday. It is the second day of school, and I had the best intentions of filming after school yesterday, and then actually we had like a maintenance emergency. If you've been following along with my channel, you know that our building was under construction all summer. They took out the bathrooms that were in our classrooms and then made a couple of group bathrooms. So there's one down the hallway this way and then one down the hallway that way, and the one that's down the hallway this way that's actually a little bit closer for my students had some sort of issue. I honestly could not tell you exactly what happened, 
but there was flooding and it flooded into some of the kindergarten rooms that are over there and it was like a whole thing which like bless those teachers can you imagine on the first day of kindergarten your room is like flooded I do not know how they survived we need to buy them all of the nice things and appreciate them because oh my gosh I literally cannot imagine um, so yes that was yesterday and then they had to um, come in and check like the water in our classrooms and basically decided that we could not use it So they had to like leave the faucet running like pretty much all afternoon It was like a couple hours at least I don't know So not all afternoon but a couple hours at least and it was just like kind of a hot mess express But I was very appreciative that there were people who came out right away and tried to work on it But it sounds like today that bathroom will not be working So I think I'll have to send my kids to the other bathroom which should be fine But I might have to do like a group bathroom break at some point But it actually went really well yesterday with not having the bathrooms in the classroom it was totally fine the kids did really well with it even with like all of the wild <laughs> whatever that was happening they really did a good job so yes I had a really good first day yesterday with my students I will say this group is so fun because they already know each other like a lot of them do really well um, I have a lot of kids who came from the same classroom last year which is a blessing because that teacher and I have very similar teaching styles. so they already knew a lot of like my call and response and they knew how to do like mirrors and a a lot of different things that usually I have to teach they already knew how to do them and then they could model them for the other students so that was pretty cool however because of that it is probably the chattiest bunch I've ever had actually definitely the chattiest bunch at least on the first day of school which is fine I much rather would have chatty kids than really really quiet kids who just stare at you like this and don't say anything when you say to turn and talk these kids are always turning and talking <laughs> So anyways, I don't mind it though, but it was just kind of funny because I was like, oh my gosh You guys are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed first thing in the morning. That is so fun So yes, they're a really fun group and I'm just so excited to get to know them better We had a really really good first day yesterday and I felt like we got through a lot of procedures But then also did a lot of fun stuff too So it was a nice balance and we only have school today now this week and then we have Friday tomorrow off and then we have Monday off for Labor Day so a nice like short introduction to the new classroom and then we'll learn more next week and start getting into some like more content related stuff next week I did not do any content yesterday so I didn't do any like reading or math or anything um, we did read outside for a little bit because we talked about how to like choose books from our library and then we went outside to read them and that was really fun the kids were really really excited to select their own books that they wanted to read and I got a lot of good feedback from the kids that they liked the different options that we had in the classroom library so that was good so I'm gonna walk you around a little bit, show you a couple things, and then I need to start getting ready for the day. Okay, so when I started walking around, I just realized we got our blinds installed yesterday, so that is great news because it was really, really bright and sunny in here yesterday morning, and it was getting in the kids' eyes, so yay, I'm so excited to have those, and it looks like it's just like a little pull cord over on this side, so that will be awesome. Yay, I'm so excited. We did a little classroom tour yesterday and then I had the kids ask me any questions they had and a lot of them had questions about our leader wall and pointed out the people that they recognized and were just really excited about it. And so we talked about that yesterday. Also my school does something for PBIS called leadership tickets. So I decided if I have leadership ticket winners, then I will take a picture of them in front of this wall and I might make like a little stool at some point that says be a leader or like leadership stool or something like that. But yeah, I got a lot of good feedback about that. So that was really exciting. We made this very, very simple poster yesterday. So this is just to show you that things don't have to be really extra or cute. They can just be really simple. You can make them with your students in the moment. I had the kids call out different ways that they felt in the morning before school. So excited, nervous or scared, sleepy, happy were the top four. And then I had them vote by going to different corners of the room. And then we graphed it together and that was really fun. And I guess that's kind of like math-ish, but not really like super mathy, if that makes sense. Nothing like too difficult, something they all found success with and it made for good conversations as well. I learned very quickly that this group tends to be a little touchy. So I've moved some of my extra furniture back here for now because we're not using this space yet. So like I moved my bean bag, I moved my extra teacher chair, the bench, and then the spinny desk. And I'm actually gonna move the rocking chair back here in just a moment as well. And I think I'm gonna scoot it all over so I can actually still like use the space. But I just wanna eliminate those things until we are ready to use them because yesterday some of the kids were really excited and they were like running over to, especially like my teacher chair and the beanbag I actually already had the bench and I had the spinning chair back here because I realized during open house that those things were going to need to be moved but yes we're just working on impulse control and they're still so little so they will get there but yes I'm gonna just keep these things back here in the meantime before we are ready for them 
And then this is my outfit today. I'm wearing this little dress that I actually just got on clearance at Walmart. It was like $10, so I couldn't help myself but to get it, and it's pretty cute. And then I have on the same necklace that I was wearing yesterday, and then just my favorite Old Navy sandals. I have these in tan and in black, and I wear them all the time. They're so comfy. My feet did hurt a little bit yesterday because I hadn't worn those shoes before, and I was like breaking them in yesterday. Not a very good idea on the first day of school, but that's okay. They looked really cute, but yeah, my feet are a little bit sore today, so comfy shoes for the win. We went out for dinner last night, so I have leftovers in here. I have a couple tacos and then rice and beans. So I'm going to stick that in my fridge to have for lunch today, and that's like the best feeling to have leftovers in the fridge that I can eat for lunch. Yay! Hello, sweet friends! So now it is Monday. It is Labor Day as I'm filming this, and I'm just in my classroom for a little bit. I had some things I wanted to drop off, and then I was hoping to do some printing and stuff like that. One of my goals this year is to come in on the weekends less. However, I am just not there yet. But yes, I am here today. I'm doing some organizing. I already started organizing some of their pencil boxes and that stuff, so I'll show you that in just a moment. But I wanted to recap last week first. So I was absolutely exhausted, and I can't remember if I talked about it in one of the clips already or not, but we had a lot of issues with the construction specifically of the bathroom so we had all this construction done this summer that's why I have those new cabinets over there and stuff they took out our bathrooms from our classrooms and put in some group bathrooms well on the very first day of school those bathrooms flooded into the hallway and actually into a couple of the classrooms on that side of the hall and it was not good and basically they came into my room and they were testing my water and they had this machine that kind of sounded like a metal detector it was like woo burp 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 and all my kids are like mrs halls what's happening what's happening and i'm like yeah i'm not actually sure so basically all that to say we couldn't use our water in our classroom we could not use the bathroom by my classroom so we had to do some some group bathroom breaks all the way on the other side of the building and basically the whole school is using the same like six stalls <laughs> for like the whole entire school which I have like 500 students in my school so it was absolute mass chaos but we survived it the kids actually did a really phenomenal job all things considered but it was just a lot a lot a lot and we had so many construction people in the building that like right after school both days I really couldn't film anything because there were so many people in my room and I had to leave my door open and all of that stuff so all that to say the plumbing was fixed this weekend they had this huge crew come out on Friday we did not have school on Friday so they came out on Friday I don't know what they did but apparently it's all fixed now so that's good news but it was a very hectic first couple of days with all of these construction people in the building and just having to do like our bathroom breaks a little bit differently and stuff like that but the kids did a really great job with it like I said so that is good but yes we are just trying to get trained right now I feel like it is exhausting the first couple weeks of school just trying to get the kids to learn all of like the routines and procedures and expectations and all of that stuff and then also wanting to make time for fun things and team building and all of that it was just a lot so we are getting there this is by far the chattiest class I've ever had but I kind of love it I think it's gonna be good once we get it under control because I love that they're so willing to talk to one another and share ideas so yes I think it'll be very good that they're chatty and like willing to turn and talk to each other and all that fun stuff but sometimes the chattiness is like well I'm trying to talk so we've had to do a lot of practicing like being quiet and making sure that we're listening when mrs. Halls is speaking or when another student is sharing out to the class but yes overall it's been really really good and I'm excited to get to know these kids even better and to really develop those routines and procedures so we can start our learning as well. So we're going to start our curriculum this week for ELA and then do some math as well this week and I'm excited about that. I love doing content with the kids as well. Like I love the team building stuff but I feel like once we start doing content it does help to just kind of make the day feel a little bit more normal so that'll be really good. So yes I'm going to show you their little pencil boxes and stuff and then I'm gonna get back to work because there are a few things that I wanna do while I'm here. So let me pull you off here and then we will go look around. Okay, so these little pencil boxes are from Dollar Tree. It's totally hit and miss like when they have these, when they don't. And I wish I had all these clear ones, but I do have some different colored ones as well. Hopefully someday I can get all these clear ones, but like I said, it's really hit and miss on like when you can find them and what colors they'll have and all that stuff. So inside each kid's pencil box, I have some pencils, scissors, 
dry erase markers, glue sticks, and crayons. And then if students brought in any erasers, I let them keep those in here. But if kids have any extra, extra supplies, so like I'll show you over here, this student brought in some markers and a notebook. I'm just sending these back home with the student because I don't want any extra stuff like this in their desk. I did kind of go back and forth on colored pencils. I decided if kids brought colored pencils, I'll just let them keep them in their little case because there's enough room. So yes, I have those in here so I need to take this out so these are the crayons that the school provides they're just like little eight packs of crayons so if students weren't able to bring in their own crayons then I just gave them a little pack of these but if kids have their own crayons then I'm letting them use their own crayons up to a 24 pack I think anything bigger than that wouldn't probably fit in here but up to a 24 pack I'm letting them use whatever crayons they have and then I'm just gonna hold on to the smaller pack of crayons but like I said these are the only ones that I think we can order from school and they're just like the teeny tiny Tiny little pack it doesn't want to focus but that's okay you know what crayons look like <laughs> so yes I have those the kids who brought colored pencils from home have them in their little pack and the rest don't which isn't ideal so I might pick up some colored pencils for everyone I don't know I haven't decided but I do have like some loose pencils that are over by the window that like everyone can use so I don't know I haven't decided but yes I have this and then like I said any extra materials will just be sent home and these fit inside the desks really nicely and then they latch like that so it's nice because then if kids are going to get a new seat they could just pick this up and then also all of their little name tags I have it upside down so you can't see the name but they are not like taped down or anything one of my coworkers shared this idea with me how she just sets them right on top of their desks so that way if they get new desks they don't have to like rip off any velcro or anything or if they want just you know a nice open space on their desk they can just put these away inside their desk but they're there if we want them so I don't think I would have ever thought of just like setting it on their desks otherwise but yeah it's just set there and so far it hasn't really been a distraction they just put it inside their desk when they don't want to use it some kids brought like cutesy pencil pouches like these which are so fun and cute but just are not good for school because the kids end up just like playing with them and stuff like that so I'm being a lot more strict about this this year in the past I've kind of let kids get away with it but this year I've decided to just make it like a hard and fast rule that we are not going to keep these things at school they can go home and then kids can use them to do like drawing or writing or whatever at home Right now I have like a whole workstation going back here. This table is really just like four desks that I put together for open house if you remember in my last vlog. And I've just kind of left it like this for right now. Eventually I'll take the tablecloth off and whatever, but yeah, I still have like my balloon up and everything too from open house and it's been a pretty good spot. And then also, I can't remember if I talked about this already or not, but I have these color posters around the room and I did it kind of like four corners. So I did like, if your favorite candy is Kit Kats, go to yellow. If your favorite candy is Reese's, go to blue and so on and so forth. So there's four different colors around the room and I just made these on Canva. It was really easy. And yeah, they really liked that game and I really liked that it got them up and moving. And then I have my clock back here with the little label times across that is on my TPT here are the books that I have on display for the first week of school lots of really really good ones and honestly it was kind of hard to choose which ones to display because there's so many good ones but I think this is a pretty good start on my last video I got a lot of questions about this space this is La Casita and I have a little doll that I bought when I was in Mexico and then I have this right here which is actually meant to hold tortillas but I just have like little flashcards in there which also those are on my TPT too <laughs> and then this runner I would love to have an authentic one eventually this one was just from Amazon and it was one that I was able to get with prime shipping I wasn't able to find one at any of the Mexican supermarkets that I went to in my town but eventually I would love an authentic one I'm actually planning a trip back to Mexico in like the end of October beginning of November so maybe I'll even be able to buy one then we'll have to wait and see but I have all these tiny little flags on here these are from TPT and then I just shrunk them down and there's a bunch of different Spanish speaking countries I don't know how well you can see that but yes I have these over here and I've already had the kids point some out and ask questions about them and stuff like that and then I ended up putting in some bins over here so I don't remember if I've really shown this part to you so this whole 
top rack right here or top shelf, I guess, not really top shelf, but like second shelf, I guess, are all fiction books. I found out that that probably would just be the easiest way to organize them for right now. And I made these labels in Canva. This says Libros de la Casita, which means books of the little house, basically. So this is la casita, like the whole bookshelf is. And then these are all fiction. I also put on some little labels that are yellow on all of these. And they say libro in Espanol. And that way kids know that they are books in Spanish and to return them over to La Casita when they're done with them. And then down here I have some different series books. So I have some Pedro books. I have Elephant and Piggy in Spanish. And then I also have two baskets of nonfiction. So a lot of these were donated from a donor's choose. And then some other ones were donated off of my Amazon wish list. And they just make my heart so, so happy. I have some chapter books back there as well that are all fiction. And yeah, I also had some given to me by one of my good friends who teaches immersion. And I'm really excited about this space. Hold on, let me actually turn you around and I'll talk to you like in front of the camera <laughs> okay so here I am in front of La Casita now so I just wanted to say that a lot of my students are at least familiar with Spanish a lot of them speak it at home or have grandparents who speak it with them a lot of my students can understand Spanish not as many of them can speak it comfortably and even fewer can read it so even my students who can speak really comfortably communicate really comfortably in Spanish the majority of them are not able to yet read in Spanish and so this was a passion project of mine to encourage that literacy in both languages. Research shows that there is a transference of that literacy between languages as well. So like if students are able to read in Spanish, then they're going to become better readers in English as well. And I love this because if I just say read at home for 20 minutes tonight, some of my students only have books in English and maybe they want to read with their parents, but their parents maybe only speak Spanish or only read in Spanish or feel more comfortable reading in Spanish. So this way I do let my kids bring these books home. They can read these with their family and then I just ask that when they're done they bring these back and return them back to the bookshelf in the correct spot and then they can choose some new ones. I usually say to choose like two or three at a time because any more than that it's a lot easier for them to get like jumbled in their backpack or lost at home or whatever it might be and I just give them a big like Ziploc baggie that they put these in and then they just bring them back when they're done and I don't have any kind of checkout or anything like that. I always get a lot of questions like how I keep track of my books. Honestly I just hope for the best. I teach the kids that it's really important to bring them back so other people can look at them but I'm not big on being like a stickler for bringing back the books or checking out the books or whatever it might be I just hope for the best and it's always worked pretty well for me so anyways hopefully it will continue to work well this year but yes this was a passion project of mine I love La Casita it makes my heart very warm the kids are really excited about it and a lot of families were really excited about it during open house as well and it was cool to talk to them about it so yes hopefully I'll continue to grow La Casita and keep filling up these bins and find some more or maybe like series books the kids might be interested in and then maybe I can even like switch them out. I also want to add maybe some more decorations on that top shelf. So yes, that is La Casita. If you have any more questions, let me know in a comment below and I could potentially eventually do a video all about La Casita and how I envision using this in my classroom and then maybe even like later in the year I could talk about like how it's going and all of that fun stuff or I could talk to you about like how to make a donor's shoes for that. I don't know what you guys would be interested in but let me know in a comment below if that interests you or if it doesn't, that's okay too. On the second day of school, it got erased a little bit, but that's okay. We focused a lot on quick and quiet transitions. So I actually used my big timer, which is this red one right here. And I timed the kids every time we were trying to come to the rug. And also I talked to them about like being quiet and using walking feet and all that fun stuff. And then I tracked it throughout the day. And we talked about how like our highest one was actually our last one, which was towards the end of the day. And that was the first time they were bringing something with them to the rug. So that was a little bit more challenging so we just talked about our time throughout the day and like what went well so like our best time with 23 seconds we talked about like what did we do here that maybe we didn't do here or, like what was different what was the same and I like doing this just to have a conversation with the kids and then that way they can actually like visually see how they're doing and kind of like self-monitor as well. And then this space over here used to be on a bookshelf by the front of the room, but I moved it over here for now. I also started moving the magnets back, but I actually have a student who has a parent who works in the building who I think is going to be helping me out in the mornings a little bit. And so I left it so that way that student can maybe help me move those back in number order on Monday or on Tuesday, I guess, because today is Monday. But yes, this is how I have students make their lunch choice each day, and this is how I do attendance. So this is just like a baking rack from the dollar store. At one point, I had like bulletin board border on there 
there, but it has since come off. This has been in my classroom since my very first year of teaching and it's worked really nicely. So it's like one of those things, if it's not broken, why change it? And so I have all the classroom numbers on here and the kids just move their magnet from this board onto this one to show me if they have uh, lunch from home is at the bottom or if they're getting lunch from school that's at the top. And then I can just quickly glance up and see if any magnets are left over over here, then I know who's absent. And also we have to fill out like our lunch count every day and they don't have to choose between like what type of lunch they're gonna get. So for me, this works because I just need to know if they're getting lunch from school or not. Um, I don't need to know exactly like which food they're going to choose. So if you had like different lunch choices, then you might have to split it up even more, but my school does not do that. So I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's going to be all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already so you can see all of my future vlogs. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.